Okay, so Obi Toppin has been drafted by the Knicks. Y'all never gonna be good. I'm sorry to say it. I'm sorry. Let me throw the disclaimer out there. He played for Dayton. You think I've watched a whole lot of full Dayton games? You got me wrong. You got me wrong. But he's been over there for a few years, and over the time, I've definitely seen him play. But it's been so long since college basketball has happened. It's been a minute since I've seen a full game of his. And I don't remember it super clear. So there's the disclaimer. But let's get into it. When you watch his highlights, what do you think what do you think he's really good at? What does it show a lot? It shows a lot of low post play. He's a six eight like power forward that has a lot of nice low, po- low post play. Sounds like a great 2020 player, right? Sounds like a great modern day player. I'm not so sure. But I know a lot of y'all Knicks fans go tell him. He's athletic. He can shoot as well. He's not a low post player. I get it. I get it. But when you're 22 years old, you're not 19. You're not 18. Coming out of Dayton, shouldn't you be spectacular at something to get you picked in the top 10? That's just my thought. And if that spectacular thing, I wouldn't think it would be low post play as a 6'8 power forward. And their biggest pluses for him? Oh, he's really nice on the pick and roll at Roland. Uh, I mean, are they going to run pick and roll with him, Roland, with Mitchell Robinson ne- right next to him on the block in 2020? I don't know. But this just reeks of Knicks. <laughs> that ain't my armpits. It's reeking of the Knicks because... They love Taken. They're like the Hornets to a smaller degree. They just like taking bad picks. But more so, they like taking big names that'll that'll appease their fans. Because if you take a Kristaps Porzingis, it'll be a boo, a boo, a boo. So they went with one of the best college players, Obi Toppin. And they're going to hope for the best. And I know Knicks fans are going to get mad at me. I know it, I know it, I know it. And they might come back to me. And this could be, video could get back, come back to haunt me. He could become a great pro. I'm not saying he's going to be trash. I'm not going to say he's going to be a bust. I just don't see any star potential. And they're a team that needs a star. So don't come back to me if he starts averaging 12 his rookie year and he has one of the best rookie seasons. He's 22 years old. That's to be expected. He's three years ahead of everybody else. Come, let's revisit this. If he's like an All-Stars rookie year, I'll take the L. If he's near All-Star, All-Star level or he's really helping them win games, I'll take the L. Trust me, I could take an L. I know I'm usually right about this stuff, so when the L happens, I could graciously take it. But if he just comes in right away, gives you production, that's to be expected. I'm not saying he can't do that. I'm saying these Knicks, they need to make a splash. Splish splash like taking a bath. That's what they need. And Obi, he might appease you guys right now because he showed y'all stuff in college. Y'all don't watch overseas ball. But his potential, I don't see it as very high. I don't love the pick. So y'all let me know. Maybe y'all let me know why you disagree. Drop a comment, like, subscribe. Yes, sir. I'll see y'all next time. Got more videos coming.